or is hell. And there's no way of getting around it. You do what you need to do for the motherland. I was drafted. That's why I didn't get to finish high school because it, they drafted everybody at 18. It didn't make any difference what you were doing. We left the States, okay. and that was uh, Christmas Eve day in 1943. You better believe I was scared. And anybody that says they wasn't scared, they don't mind dying. The beauty of this trip is we have a group of men that fought very hard together. Going back to, to the beach. I know it's not going to look anything like it did. Father, we just thank you so much that we could come back today. Above the fruited plain, America, America, God shed his grace on thee. Of course, there's a lot of stuff that you. After 67 years, you, you, you forget, and, uh, and uh, things that, uh, you, some things you don't want to remember. To see it today, it just brings back so many memories. I can see those ships out there on that water. I can hear those men hollering. I've never met, heard a man call for his daddy in my life. All of them called for mama, mama. When a man got hit, he called for mama. And to me, that really, that really shakes me up. Those of us who have seen blood uh, look at war a little differently than others. The experience of sharing risk, of depending on someone else to, for your life, of being able to offer someone else support for their lives, it changes the attitude. I left the war an adult, I was a teenager when I got in, feeling rather proud of myself as an American. And to this day, I look upon my country as a great country. Service, public service, whether in the military or civilian side, uh, uh, provides strength for our for democratic society. Sure.